The, the subject of the talk is analysis of winding failures in HVDC converter transformers. In Manitoba Hydro, over 70% of our generation is delivered to market using HVDC transmission. The first bipole associated with the Nelson River HVDC system uh, went into service beginning in 1972 and was completed in 1977 with a line approximately 900 kilometers in length. Uh, it is currently rated 2,000 amps and operates at plus minus 463.5 kV at the rectifier. It currently consists of three six-pulse thyristor valve groups operating in the negative pole and three six-pulse mercury arc valve groups operating in the positive pole. It has single-phase converter transformers. Bipole 2, which went into service in 1978, completed in 1985, has a line length of 900 and 50 kilometers. It, too, operates at 2,000 amps, but the voltage is plus minus 500 kV at the rectifier. It has 12 pulse thyristor valve groups and four valve groups per station. The converter transformers are three phase. The three phase converter transformers for Bipole 2 Stage 1 were manufactured in 1977. They're rated 279 MVA at the rectifier and 262 MVA at the inverter. They consist of either 125 kV delta connected units or 250 kV DC star or Y connected units. All the transformers have directed oil cooling, that is, they have no self-cooled or ONAN rating. The three-phase converter transformers in the Bipole 2 Stage 1 have a three-leg core form core construction. The windings are located as follows with respect to the core. We have the core then the tap windings, then the line winding, and lastly on the outside, the valve winding. It has an onload tap changer with plus minus 13 positions, which is physically located near leg three of the core. The tap leads are connected in series at the location of the onload tap changer. The three-phase converter transformers for Bipole 2 Stage 1 have tap lead stray flux problems on the extreme taps. This is because of the additive effect of the current in the tap leads. The rectifier transformers operate closer to the extreme tap and therefore have more stray flux problems. We have observed that the rectifier transformers gas or pr produce dissolved gas in the oil as a function of the tap position. That is, the closer you are to the extreme tap, the more gassing there is. Some of these units were modified to provide a continuous shield for the core clamps to basically keep the stray flux out of the laminated core to the greatest extent possible. Here we see a slide that shows the location of the tap leads uh, 